Right. Okay. Yeah. So, how did you feel about the invitation to the task? How did you feel at the beginning, the very beginning? I think I, think I was really interested in being able to be part of something and that yeah. felt important yeah. to me. Um, and apprehensive, but I didn't yeah. really know what it was going to be. So, mm -hmm. but definitely interested. Yeah. And I think for me it was. Um, when it became real was when we, our first steering group meeting, when we saw the uh, Glasgow Carers film. Mm, sure. Um, and that, um, for me, sealed it, because I thought, well, um, they knew, they, yeah. they looked like ordinary folk, just like us, and um, yeah. if they can do it, so, well, we could give it a try. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was really apprehensive as well, because um, I was well aware that it would be a fair commitment in terms of time, mm. so I was really concerned that I wouldn't mm -hmm. have the time to do it. Sure. And also, I think, because I knew it was by carers, for carers, I really thought that we would be doing absolutely everything ourselves. So I was a bit worried that mm. maybe we were um, taking on too much at that particular time in my life. But we were so well supported by Life Changes Trust and absolutely. Tide that that worry soon disappeared actually. Um, so at the beginning, yeah, I was apprehensive at the beginning mm. as well. Mm. But excited too. It was, yeah. you know, the thought that we could um, come together yeah. and, and do something maybe to h that would help um, other carers yeah. in, in um, yeah. similar circumstances to us. Not everybody's the same, but yeah. mm -hmm. just in similar circumstances. That was my, um, I really wanted to do something that would help other people in the same situation and I thought if it helps other people then I'm really wanting to do this no matter how apprehensive I am about mm -hmm. it and once I make a commitment to something I really do make that commitment so what did we actually do? What were the things we did? <laughs> we did a lot. <laughs> yeah we did. Um, In a short space of time we yes, did a lot. Yeah. That, that's what I, I kept saying, you know, you mean this me? <laughs> Do we not have longer? But it, yeah. um, up until the end it felt okay, but we were saying this morning, you know, it, it did at the end feel a little bit rushed, but mm. um, that was maybe more our mm. anxiety for the day going well than, yeah. than anything. But yeah. The actual steering group meetings and um, they were very well organised by and uh, great support again from yeah. um, Life Changes Trust yeah. and uh, Tide. Uh, we wouldn't have got through. Yeah. In, in the beginning though we had to kind of form a structure for the day, you know, to we decide did. what we wanted to do and how, yeah. how we would offer it and yeah. the support that we got from Life Changes Trust yeah. to have get speakers organised yeah. and a panel organised. Mm -hmm. I mean that was a lot of thinking about in the beginning, yeah. a lot of discussing, and planning, wasn't it? And planning the mm -hmm. structure to yeah. offer what we felt carers... How our day was going what to... What we would yeah. have liked yeah. as carers, I guess. Like and yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, and to decide what was actually going to happen on the day. Mm. Um, there was quite a lot beginning. There was thinking involved in that, <laughs> with, with guidance. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but in a way we were hanging on the New Carers Act. We were. Because that we, had come into being decided, in April. That's right. yeah. And that our speakers were speaking about that because mm -hmm. none of us knew. No, it was all new. It was all brand and new. And the people, yeah. the delegates didn't know either. Mm -hmm. So that was really a kind of hook mm -hmm. for the rest of the day. And on the day that the mm -hmm. carers, after hearing the speakers, they had lots of questions for the panel Yes. Um, that yeah. had been brought up by yes. the speakers. So yes. that, that yeah. part went really well. Yes. Yeah. And one of the big ones is, where's the money coming yes. from? <laughs> <laughs> We didn't really get an answer to no. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I think one of the most successful parts of the day as well was when we split into smaller groups mm. and mm -hmm. gave um, carers an opportunity to speak or just to listen amongst yeah. ourselves mm -hmm. in a, a space where they felt safe and it was all right. Sure. However they felt, mm -hmm. uh, wherever their emotions were at the time, mm -hmm. that was fine, that was okay. Yeah. Yes. It surprised me that one or two people had said that they'd never had the opportunity before to say 
what they felt, what they felt and how mm -hmm. they felt because mm -hmm. everything is so focused on the person with dementia. Yes. And which is right, but the, the carer is vital mm -hmm. in, in this role. Mm. Yes. Um, and to be able to speak about your fears actually. Mm -hmm. And worries. Mm -hmm. and the things you're worried about, the things you're frightened about, I think mm -hmm. that's really, really important. Mm -hmm. And so to create that space where people felt they could do that is really helpful. Yes. Because the groups were quite large mm -hmm. and they were facilitated by a tied member very well. Mm -hmm. But still, some people were at different. So many people were at different, different stages. We all are at different mm -hmm. stages. Yes. So yeah. it was hard for some people. To yeah, my, you know, I don't have to deal with do that, and that. I don't really want to, to know about hear this mm -hmm. other part. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. came out quite strongly, mm -hmm. isn't mm -hmm. it? You can't really mitigate. Yeah. I don't know what you can't forever. You mm -hmm. know, for everybody. And then other people who. It was a relief to them to hear yeah. that you were saying you found it it's difficult okay. because it's you have okay. a public face. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Most of us have a public face, mm -hmm. yeah. um, and then you have the day-to-day -day mm -hmm. reality, which can be really, really hard going. So to hear somebody else admitting that they found it really difficult, it's like giving them permission yeah. that it's okay yeah. to to say that, to say it, yeah. Yeah. or to feel it. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, I think it was good as well to have the emphasis is um, by carers on on mm. the conference or whatever you want yeah. to call it, mm -hmm. by carers, for carers, I mm -hmm. think that's a really powerful message to mm -hmm. give to professionals as well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that um, with the right support and guidance, carers are actually extremely capable people and yeah. mm -hmm. you're the expert in your particular mm. loved one field, yeah. if you like, yeah. um, you know, Jim's, my husband has a relatively rare type of dementia called PCA, posterior cortical atrophy, where he lost his sight. And um, it's quite unusual. But at the end of the conference, yes. somebody came up to ask to speak to me mm. because they reckoned that's what their husband had, mm. having heard me, heard you say. but hadn't actually been diagnosed as such because she spoke mm. about his sight problems. Because mm. in a way, talking and meeting other people reduces the sense of isolation because mm -hmm. you think you're on your own oh, mm -hmm. or nobody else, else can feel these difficult feelings mm -hmm. and you find out other people do yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were talking about that, weren't we? That yeah. um, over a long period of time you don't realise your confidence How is being low. slowly eroded mm -hmm. and you don't necessarily realise that till much later on. Absolutely. And one of the really helpful things, you know, I wanted to do this to help other carers, mm -hmm. but actually it was a huge help to, to me personally at the end mm -hmm. of the day to have this feeling that you'd actually achieved something because for so long you're with somebody with dementia and your achievements happen but they're tiny and they're fleeting. Mm -hmm. Because you're then on to yeah, the next, yeah, yeah, the next stage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, whereas this felt as if you'd actually achieved something that mm -hmm. would continue afterwards. Mm -hmm. So, what did you get out of the whole thing? You know, I've said that I got the sense of achievement mm -hmm. and uh, that you were generally helping other people and um, a confidence boost. I think absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Um, as, as we said earlier, I didn't realise how much of my own self-confidence had disappeared mm -hmm. completely. Um, but I found it. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly did on the day. You um, were excellent on the was, day. We all were. We all were uh, great. We all played our, our, our part. Mm -hmm. and, and I think the trust that we mm -hmm. three had mm -hmm. built up between mm -hmm. each other as well was um, very important to me. I mean, we still catch up now and yeah, uh, yeah. even if it's just by email mm -hmm. or a call um, so finding those friendships yeah. have, have been good as well yeah. but really for, for me to be able to get back to um, public speaking um, which I did for most of my working days mm -hmm. um, as a, a registrar um, but I had lost that I couldn't but to, um, to be able to stand up in front of mm -hmm. Um, people again um, and share my experience um, has been great and I feel so much better um, 
I'm probably more relaxed mm -hmm. um, now than I was. I'm certainly less anxious um, than I was. I feel my confidence has made me that I'm better able to cope with everything dementia throws at mm. you, you know. Um, and yeah, that it was okay for me to take time for myself. Mm. Um, I think the day itself was a, was a great, great success. Mm. And I really a great enjoyed the feeling day. at the end of it yeah. to have accomplished that. I yes. thought it was mm -hmm. excellent. And I, I just loved the fact it was so local. Mm -hmm. I, th I just think that's really important yeah. as well to, to have it local. I think there's a place for national um, events. I really do believe mm -hmm. that. But I also think that smaller local events sometimes can have a much um, wider ripple effect mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on people. And also we had done a lot of work in preparing delicate bag that everybody got a bag of information sure. which they could take away and keep. Mm -hmm. and Which included the, the directory and, and the checklist. Directory. Yeah. The Carers Act, it was all there for people when they came. Mm -hmm. And then when people left, the Alison organised a prize draw. So everybody was yeah, able was to good. go away. We had so many. Well, it was everybody was able donations to go away uh, with from a gift. local businesses, yeah. So it really kind of rounded off the whole day. It, it and everyone finished off. Of, the yeah. day. How many yeah. conferences do you go to that on a raffle? Never been to one. Except ours. What would you say to other carers about if they're being invited to take part? Do it. <laughs> go for it. Absolutely. Do it. Go for it. Yeah. Go for it. Do yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Because you do get back. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Hugely yeah. as, as yes. well as what you're able to contribute. You know, one mm -hmm. of the messages I wanted to get across was um, it's very, very, very important that a carer cares for themselves mm -hmm. as well sure. and not mm -hmm. to get to the stage that I got to which was a point of complete collapse yes mm -hmm. that's just silly mm -hmm. it really is um, don't allow yourself to get like that and it's really really vital to find time for yourself so we were giving a full day that mm -hmm. carers probably felt it was legitimate they were allowed yeah. to go to it yeah. was important but f it would involve for a lot of them a lot of them um, pre-organisation, mm -hmm. yes. you know, who is going to look after somebody for yeah. the day, it's not easy to organise, mm -hmm. depending on, you know, the person's Again, dementia, what stage they're what at, stage they're at yeah. it can be really, really difficult. Yes. So it's quite an effort to make, but I think everybody felt it was that a worthwhile effort yeah. to make. Yeah. And then it was a day for them, for the carers. Yes. Yes. It was mm -hmm. really important. Mm -hmm. yes. I think the biggest surprise for me was what I got from it personally, because yeah. mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting to to get as much from it personally as I did. Because we set out mm -hmm. to organise this day for other yeah, carers. Yeah, uh -huh. We weren't thinking at the beginning or mm -hmm. any stage yeah. through it that um, it would give us, you know, yeah. confidence. It would give us. Um, I didn't expect to have such a sense of achievement at the end you. of it, which mm -hmm. was excellent. Mm -hmm. um,